Good morning, everyone. Hope you all are having a good day, whatever day or whatever time you may be watching this. I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, guys, stick around for this. We're going to go down here on the deep river, do some fishing, do some scouting. Uh, maybe a little bit tricky getting in there. Um, we'll see. We'll see. I don't know how it's going to be. I'm kind of letting it get a little bit daylight before I try to go down in there. Um, but I think it's going to be good. So, guys, stick with me on this adventure. Hope we catch some big bass today. We'll see you at the end of this video, hopefully. And uh, don't forget to give me that thumbs up. Uh, go ahead and do it now while you're thinking about it. Hit hit that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're a new if you're a new viewer. I got everything loaded up and we're about ready to hit the road. We'll see you in a few minutes, guys. All right, guys, let's roll. right here is going to be actually interesting. guys we are finally in the water it's eight o'clock go over here about 6 30 just uh trying to get everything situated and just taking my time but we are in the water now and we're fixing to shove off first thing i'm going to do is go up river all right, conditions. The water's muddy. I mean, you can tell by the water it was muddy. But uh, we're gonna go up here where it's a little more shallow. And uh, I'll show you what kind of baits and everything I'm gonna be using. Let's see what we can do. down just a little bit here because I can't see what's under the water how shallow it is or anything I think it's pretty shallow right through here can't really tell there's rocks right here the old cooler over in that tree lap right over there I think we got through that, I believe. I want to get up here in these rocks. I fished a little bit on the river up in Wisconsin on the Black River. Uh, smallmouth fishing. And that was a, that's what we want to do is get up there in them rocks. Man, killer. 
secure. Can't wait till this right here clears up so I can see. I want to get me a depth finder too. I don't have one, but I want one. We're gonna fish these rocks up here. I'm gonna try a little top bar to begin with. And I'm gonna throw this devil's horse. Right, guys I'm gonna use this new stealth I got let's see how it works this is one I got from cast King guys it's white as I'll get out what I got is my stealth I got this zombie green uh, mega 8 line on here that they provide for me and I got this on my Fenwick uh, bass elite tech seven foot medium heavy fast action rod Alright, so I moved up river just a little bit. Seen this little spot over here I really like. So I'm gonna give this right here a shot. This little pocket right here. See what we can do. Pushed up just a little bit. I'm using this plum uh, plum head tackle uh, bladed jig so let's see what we can do I think the water's too muddy but I'm trying our best oh got my first little Get my first little bass. River bass. Very first one. <laughs> it's a dink. It's on a Joe Reel and Shaky Head with a. Um... It ain't much bigger than the bait, but hey. A fish is a fish is a fish. I'm happy. But uh, that's the Joe Reel and Shaky Head on a Golden Baits um, six inch curly tail, curly tail worm. All right, maybe I'm figuring something out here. Fish these banks, these little pockets behind these these big rocks. Might be on to something here. Changed up my tactic just a little bit. Instead of going with a shaky head, I just put a little weight here on my uh, braid. I got my braid tied straight onto this. This is just a little clamp on weight. And I got a number three, I think, uh, eagle claw hook with that same worm the golden baits worm let's see how this works those bass seem to be right on the bank where i've had most of my hits so far something nailed it ah oh, that it took my worm there's a deer uh, coming down the river. Can you see it? I have never seen one do that before. He is swimming down the river. Look how sneaky that rascal is. Oh no, I'm here. That is crazy. Standing right there near that bank. Seen one do that before. I've heard about him doing that, but I've never seen one do that. It's 
going to do when it gets right here. I'm booking it, man. I can't go that way. I'll just go this way. It's trying to get out. It's trying to get out. I think it's going to keep going now. I think it's taking a little breather. It's just staying over there looking around. That was crazy. That's, that's pretty decent one. Come here, buddy. There we go, that's a little chunk. Finally. Ooh, that's a good one. Mm, yeah, come here, buddy. Cass this thing just a mile, man. Cass King, how about send me a few more of these? I love these reels. I need about five. I also need some rods <laughs> to go with them. Medium heavy, fast action tip. Need two more of those. I need two more moderate action rods. Seven foot, all seven foot, seven foot six. I'd be forever grateful.
I, I caught the dinkiest fish I think I've ever caught. I can about use this jerk right here as bait. Oh, there he goes. There's something. There's something pretty good. Ooh. Yeah. There we go. Big as that catfish. I have never caught a catfish on an artificial. Never. That's the first. Calm down, fishy. There you go. Little bee catfish. Woo. The heck I got now? Oh, a little bass. Hey, buddy. Yeah, he's some fighting rascals. A little small one. The color in him. I don't know if you can see or not. Man, these are some chunky little rascals. Something. Look at that. Oh, a little bluegill. A bluegill, man. They come up and hit that dog one thing. A little pretty little thing. You catch about everything on one of these little Strike King tubes. You can catch about everything. Bass, crappie, brim, catfish. guys I just want to do a real quick recap of what I did today um, most almost all my hits come today on plastics trick trick worms curry tail worms two jigs and uh, had that one on that big spinner of upscale lures um, but most of the hits I had come come from plastics June bug and watermelon flake is what I was using mostly. Uh, my big
biggest fish, fish actually come from half of a trick worm. It was about that long. I cut it in half and I kept getting so many short strikes. I threw in a piece about that long and ended up catching my biggest bass. That's pretty cool. Caught a catfish, which was really neat. I had never caught a catfish on my on an artificial before. So that was pretty cool. I went upstream, if you didn't realize, I went upstream or went up river and down the creek. I went up in that creek and caught caught a little bass. Pretty decent little bass, a little chunky thing. Probably a two pounder or so. And go the other way next time. I had a ball. Um, can't wait to get out here and do it again. Look at that toad. Woo! Holy cow! Ah! Ah!